Hi there, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new project video. This one is a small one and I mean small as in uh, the actual physical size of the project is like this. Uh, yeah, this uh, is actually an idea I had when I did the restoration of the LEDs or conversion of the LEDs on that radio, the Sony CRF320. I converted the incandescent lamps to LEDs. I really like the effect. All it took was a resistor and another diode and an LED. The whole concept is very simple. In fact, we can draw it right here. Uh, what they've got there is they've got uh, 6.3 volts, 6 point something volts, I think it is, 6 volts AC that comes in and the light, the light would be there. But what we've done is we've taken the 6.6 uh, volts AC and we have l put it through a resistor, current limiting resistor, and then there's the LED. And what you do is you put another diode across here just to avoid the uh, reverse voltage across here from being more than 5 volts, which will blow this thing, or could blow this thing. So all we've got really is the supply, the diode, the LED, this is reversed, and then you've got a, I, I used 390 ohm resistor here. So no big deal, this is pretty normal and it works very, very well. However, these components, this component, that component, this was all sort of done point to point, hand wired and everything else. And I decided it would be really cool to make a little board like this, which would have the input there, which would have an LED here. Okay, and then it would have the resistor and the diode over there. And then what you can do is just put this over heat shrink and you'd make some really, really nice little lamps. In fact, there are a lot of radios that use this kind of lamp and these lamps are becoming difficult to get and they're very dim. So this could be something that I could use for quite a lot of restorations. And I went and designed this and I ordered these uh, boards. Now I did two versions. One of them is this size and one of them is this size. <laughs> now guess what? That's SMD, which a lot of you really hate, I know, because of eyesight and all that. And I've got the same problems, believe me. I have just um, experimented with this particular board. I've uh, built up five LEDs. Now remember, these things have got, um, what is it, five, five LEDs, five lights, uh, two are white and three are green and the white ones are for the clock and for the meter and the greens are for the uh, the, the the bands or behind the band uh, indicator but let me show you what these things look like they really are cool and obviously this is sponsored by PCBWay and I thank them for it and I'll be putting the link to the share section of PCB, PCBWay's website at the end if you want to order them yourself Go for it, whichever version you prefer. Let me show you what these things look like. Here we are. What I've done is I've ordered 50 of each. And the way this was done is um, I built, I designed the one board and then I got them to put multiples on one piece of uh, PCB. So they allow you to do that. And I must admit, these things came out really small. This is two, four, six, eight, ten of the big ones and this is two, four, six, eight, ten of the small ones and when you look at them broken up and it's easy enough to do that you just literally snap them and that's actually two and of course there's a little bit of a lip on here now you can sand the edges make it perfectly smooth I found I didn't need to do that. But what I've got here is supply lines are these over here. The LED goes on here and the way it's done, I've made the square solder pad, the um, cathode. So it goes in like this. And then of course it bends forward. And then on the one side, you've got a diode. You've got to get the polarity right. It's got to be reverse polarity to the, to the lead. And on the other side, you've got a 1206 resistor. Now, the problem I actually had was I designed this for 1206 resistor and 805 diode and I've only got a whole bunch of 1206 diodes 
which I didn't realize. So soldering this on was a bit of a challenge, but I've actually done them and it works. Now what I want to do is show you the bigger one, which is a little bit more sensible. Not that much, but a little bit more sensible. You do exactly the same thing. And the way this works is the diode goes on this side and the resistor goes on that side. So it's a um, 1N4148 on here and a 390 ohm quarter watt resistor on there. The lead goes on there and the supply comes on here. Now, here's the problem. This thing actually has polarity, but we'll talk about that in a second. First thing we need to do is to buff this so that the lens diffuses better than it does now. At the moment it's a lens. I want it to be completely diffused. Now just use the Dremel. You can use uh, fine sandpaper, whatever works for you. There we are. It's nice and dull and it'll work better that way. I've got uh, 1N4148s over here and this will go in God, this is difficult. Yeah, this will go in here. And it goes in that way. Remember, the polarity has got to be reverse. And then the resistor, you've got to bend it very sharp because obviously space is an issue here. You can put it on that side, but I prefer to balance it by putting it on the reverse side. It'll sort of make both sides have a sort of similar size. Okay, let me solder that and then I'll put the LED in. There we go. So, resist on one side, diet on the other side, and the LED goes here, and you can see the square solder tag down there. That means that this goes in like this. So that's the positive, that's the negative. And you put it down like that, and before soldering, I'm just going to give it a millimeter or so, and then bend it, so I get the right distance over there. In fact, what I want to do is slightly different to that than that. I'm going to straighten it. And I'm going to first bend it back this way. I'll bend it back this way. And then I'll do that bend in so that hopefully it works. It's that way. Yeah, that's the idea. I want the diode in the middle along the axis of that. So let me just solder that in place. And there we have it. Now, what I need to do here is I need to check the polarity because this does have polarity. Remember, I said this was AC and it is indeed AC, okay? It's 6.3 volts AC. However, when you put this on battery, the transformer 6, 6 volts AC doesn't supply it at all. When you've got it on battery, what you've got is actually 12 volts coming in here. DC, and that's negative, and that's positive. Well, that's ground, and that's positive. So that'll work like that. If you put it in reverse, your diode, this diode, will pass current, that will just block. It'll become a reverse bias diode, so you won't get any light. So you've got to check this. Now with AC, it doesn't make any difference because half wave is always going through there. But when you have this on battery and you push the battery check, or rather the light check, that won't go on. Ask me how I found out. Now, let's get 12 volts on here. But before I do that, let me just show you how you can test this. The easiest way to check that you've got this polarity right on the diodes is get your diode checker. Check one way. There's your LED. 
and that's your positive, okay? So you know now that this leg of the resistor is where your positive is supposed to go. And if you do it in reverse, there's your uh, 1 in 4148. So you want this to be the positive, and you've got to remember that when you put it into your, um, into your radio, otherwise you will not get any light. There shall not be light. So this thing is ready to be fit into, fitted into the radio. This particular one I'm going to use... Actually, let me show you what this looks like when, um, when I put some heat shrink on it. Here it is. Pretty cool. Put my hand here, otherwise it doesn't focus, this thing's so bloody small. Just a bit of white heat shrink. And the reason I've used white is this is one of the white LEDs. When I do the green, I put a green bit of heat shrink so I can distinguish the two, because these LEDs are all white or transparent until they light up. Brilliant. And if we test this, just get 12 volts supplied to here. There we have it. And if I reverse it, boom, nothing. Now I'm watching the uh, power supply. It is drawing nearly 30, amp, 30 milliamps through that little diode. And here it's drawing just about 20 milliamps. That's a 12 volts. Now this thing is normally working at 6 volts. So if I change this to 6 volts on the supply, that's what it looks like. Can't really see much difference. And it would be 6 volts AC, so it's actually a little bit uh, dimmer than that. But the result that I've seen on the radio itself is perfectly acceptable. It's exactly the way I want it. Now, this is the big one. <laughs> big one, yeah. These are the big ones, okay? What do the small ones look like? Well, let me show you. Here's a small white one using these little PCBs. And it really is pretty cool. I mean, that's the board over there. It really is small. It's fantastic. And of course, it doesn't have the bulky uh, resistant diode sticking out, so yeah, it sort of looks flat. It actually looks like the legs of one of those 12 volt light bulbs that you plug into something. Uh, the heat shrink is a bit longer than it needs to be, but that's fine. I wanted this to be able to push into the the holes that they made uh, that they have for them. But those are basically, this is basically the difference between the two. And I've made a whole set of these. Here they are. Three green, two white. I built this up with the small boards and it was a bit of a challenge, but then I used the uh, soldering microscope, that microscope that I've um, featured a review on. It really is fantastic. It helps my eyesight. A lot of you have the same problems. And I've been wearing glasses since I was 18, so uh, I know what it's like when you get to 60s and you can't see as well as you used to. But the result is great. And the way to do this, the way I'm going to do this, if I need a set of these, is literally just series solder them. Just put them all on a board or on the microscope, do them all at once, and you don't suffer so much. But here we go. Three greens and two whites. Brilliant. Now let me just show you what the uh, boards themselves look like and you can decide what you want to do with this. Here's the schematic, not much to see here. You've got the uh, 390 ohm resistor, you've, you've got the reverse bias diode, you've got the LED over here. The reason I've got these connectors on here is because I wanted uh, particular solder tags on the board. You know that um, the square one or the square one and the, the round one. But the reason this is then polarized is because when you've got 12 volts DC on here, you've got positive going there, going through the diode to ground, and in reverse the current will flow through this diode so it won't light up your LED. No problem. And here is the board. That's all it is. You've got um, the LED on here, the uh, cathode and the anode of the LED. You've got the two coming in here. I should have actually labeled this plus and minus, but hey, I didn't get that right. The positive goes to the resistor. And then the reverse bias diode is on the reverse side. If I do a what is it, a 3D? If I can do that. Yeah, you can sort of see that. No big deal. And if we look at the small one, schematic's exactly the same. And all this is, is um, the lead goes on here, the supply comes on here. And in this particular case, this is where the positive comes in, actually, to the resistor. And on the reverse side, I've got the diode. So if we look at a 2D or 3D on this, this is basically what this looks like. No big deal, but very small. 
And then what I've done is I've um, created the Gerbers for this. The Gerbers all are available on the PCBWay Share website. You can download them for free, do what you like with them. If you want to order them from PCBWay, make sure you ask them to, to panel them. This is panelized and it's panelized by them. Take care when you place your order. If you place your order, make sure you get the right one, whether it's the big one or the small one, whether it's the through hole or the SMD. Also, there's an assistant service on there. You can actually chat to them and ask them about panelizing this to get the optimum price, depending on how you panelize. I mean, I ordered 50 and it came in uh, in five boards of each and they try to optimize it so you get the best price possible. And then when they do the review and they actually give you the final price, that's when you're ready to order, not before. And I will not be providing much support on this, really. If you want to do this, go ahead. But I really cannot build anything for anybody else. This is my personal hobby. I have very little time. And the time I do have, I try and dedicate to my projects. So that's it for now. I've got these all ready. I've got my little boards. I've got enough for quite a few radios to come. And I'm going to make sure that um, every time I get lights are replaced with leds because now i've got the boards ready and it makes it that much easier so once again thanks for watching and if you enjoyed that click like share subscribe and all that jazz and if you want to support the channel directly you can do so on patreon and paypal thanks for watching bye for now and stay safe